Now, what are some of the initiatives to promote uh, sustainable development goals in Nigeria? Perhaps the government is not really getting right, or you think that needs to be added or subtracted? I think, like I said, it's still a journey, and uh, uh, we're very much earlier in, early in that journey. So the point is that the government is beginning to engage with that conversation. And there are some initiatives uh, across different sectors. Uh, I was, uh, sometime last year, I participated, and, uh, uh, participated in a conference that engaged the extractive industry. And there, uh, the Ministry of Mines and Industry was talking about coming up with sustainable uh, principles for the sector. So in that sense, there are some initiatives, sector-specific initiatives, and one would also argue that if you look at our oil and gas sector, there will also be conversations about sustainable development, the cleaning up of the Ogoni land and, and the Niger Delta. Yeah. Those will also contribute to the sustainable development goals. And recently also, I think it was last month, um, the government launched what they call the Private Sector Advisory Group on Sustainable Development. And that is a body that involves businesses uh, working together with government to ensure that the conversation is uh, maintained and also that the, the different actors are involved because sustainable development goals are not something you leave only for the government. So there needs to be uh, interest from the civil society, from the private sector uh, and the likes. So from that perspective, one can say that um, th there is a movement towards uh, promoting the sustainable uh, development goals in Nigeria. And also in terms of initiatives, you can see that the, the corporate, uh, the private sector in particular, have gradually moved away from what you may consider or what you call corporate social responsibility in the past, which to a large extent was about philanthropy uh, given to uh, communities and stuff like that. And now they're moving to uh, uh, a much more comprehensive approach to it, where they begin to talk about corporate sustainability. And corporate sustainability, in a nutshell, is about how the private sector can take on board uh, the sustainable development goals. Either they, they enhance their positive impacts uh, through some of the goals, or they reduce the negative impacts they have on some of those goals. But there are also issues beyond just the sustainable development goals that we need to engage uh, with the philosophical underpinnings of what some of the things we are doing here in Nigeria. Because one thing we find that sometimes, or most of the time, we tend to be on the receiving end of ideas. So you have um, sustainable development goals could have been articulated in the West. But what does it mean for us in Nigeria? What sort of philosophical underpinnings would help us appreciate it and domesticate uh, these goals? And that leads me to the question around uh, African capitalism, which uh, the Tony Lumelu Foundation is currently championing. And we also at Edinburgh have engaged with that concept to think of it as a way to give philosophical underpinning to the sustainable development goals. So African capitalism, which in a nutshell is about the private sector uh, championing the development of Africa, participating actively and ensuring that their strategies aligned to that developmental agenda. So it's a philosophy in itself that can help Africans domesticate and uh, implement the sustainable development goals. So from that perspective, uh, looking at the specific initiatives from a practical perspective, but also the underpinning interrogation of the philosophical underpinnings of the sustainable development goals. All right, what role can regulation, especially financial regulation, play in mainstreaming the sustainable development goals? To a large extent, the sustainable development goals have been positioned as voluntary activities. But regulation uh, would need to definitely play a role. The government, uh, as well as regulatory bodies, have a role to play to at least ensure there is a, a level playing ground. So in Nigeria, for example, you have um, the Financial Service Regulatory Consultative Committee, which to a large extent comprises the different financial regulators ranging from the CBN, um, the National Pension Commission, uh, FIRS, uh, SEC, and the likes. So what they have come to do is to um, craft what they call the Sustainable Finance Roadmap for Nigeria. So in essence, they are ex expecting all, each and every one of the regulators to come up with sustainability principles for their sector. So in that regard, it becomes quite impossible for any corporation, any firm, any entrepreneur to escape um, uh, the whole issue or the conversation around sustainable development. Because once you get the sources of finance aligned 
to the sustainable development goals, then there is no way um, they can be avoided. So uh, the SEC, for example, is working with the Nigeria Stock Exchange to promote it. The CBN has worked with the bank to develop the Nigeria Sustainable Banking Principles. And the National Pension Commission at the moment is also working uh, with the sector to develop uh, the sustainable pension principle. But it's also in, talking a lot more around impact investment and also developmental investment. So you can see how the different financial regulators are pitching in and playing their own part. But regulation um, has a way to create a level playing ground. It doesn't need to be onerous. But one thing interesting about this regulatory approach is that they're not uh, detective. So they tend to present principles that will also allow companies the leeway to be innovative about how they go uh, uh, about these uh, sustainable development goals and translate them to their everyday practices and also uh, leverage them to, to make the best out of their endeavors. Well, thank you very much, um, uh, Professor Kenneth Ameshi. Thank you for joining us on the program. Well, that was uh, Professor Kenneth Amishi, the Chairman, Business and Sustainable Development at the University of Edinburgh Business School in the UK. We'll take a quick break, and when we return, more feeds from the African CEO Forum. Do stay with us.